alive, everybody. Just lift your hands and open them up and worship. Shande kabaga da kasote kebada. Nilo koto le masoko kote le me. Ziba da 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 moshite le makalaga. Nongo kote le masida da. Panda le 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 moshite le le le. Lama na 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 moshite le le.
Christ, everybody. Now I know that were not here and uh, we just want to want to, to give you an opportunity to worship the Lord we don't want you to miss out a lot has happened those that came a bit late a lot has happened in the first service Bwana Sifiwe Bwana Sifiwe wale ambao wameingia ibada ikiwa imeendelea kidogo kuna kitu ambacho kimetendeka kwa ibada ya kwanza na tungependa mkose Bwana Sifiwe Kwa hivyo ningependa uinue mikono yako juu zaidi maana kuna vitu vingi ambavyo mchungaji ametabiri katika madhabahu haya. Kwa hivyo ningependa uinue mikono yako juu zaidi kama ishara ya kujihusisha na kile ambacho Bwana ametenda asubuhi ya leo. Ishara ya kujihusisha, ishara ya kudhibitisha, ishara ya kudhibitisha as a way of affirming what the Lord has done in this house today in the morning. Come on, lift your hands, lift your hands up. And tell the Lord, uh, Father, I partake, I partake, I partake in the name of Jesus. I partake in the name of Jesus of the anointing. I partake of the anointing. I partake. I can't hear your voice. I can't hear your voice. Ataka moli kwa katika yo ibada. The betisha, the betisha. Kile ambacho me pokea kutoka kwa mchunga. The betisha, the betisha kwa maombi. Ambi abona na the betisha katika jina la Yesu Kristo. We want to be in one page and we call upon those that have come a bit later. Lift your hands and tell the Lord, I receive, I receive, I declare I'm a partaker of the anointing, of the power, of the infilling, of the Holy Spirit, of authority, of dominion in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. We receive, we receive in Jesus' name. Come on, close your eyes, close your eyes up. It's a way of connecting to the Father. Ah, let the Spirit of God call out in you, Abba Father. Abba Father, Abba Father. The Bible says that the Spirit of the Son ah, cries out in us, ah, calls out Abba Father. Raise your hands and tell the Lord, Abba Father. My Father, my Father. My Father, my Father. It is you, it is you. It is you that I've come for. It is your word that I've come for. It is 
your presence that makes the difference in me. It is your presence that makes the difference in me. I raise my worship. I raise my praise. Seed on my worship. Seed on my praise, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody worship the Lord. Raise in white powder, in white powder. Rakata Nagadesh, Telebos, Yadahana. We bless your name, Jesus. You are the one that makes the difference in us. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds our lives. We are the one that makes the difference in us. Master Jesus, you are the one that makes the difference in us. Master Jesus, you are the one that makes the difference in us. You are the pillar that holds my life. Hallelujah, Lord. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar. That holds my life. If that is your testimony, raise your hands as you declare, You are the pillar, you are the pillar that holds my life. Come on, somebody declare, You are the pillar, Lord, you are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Say, You are the pillar that holds. your head and declare you're the pillar of my family. You are the pillar of my family. You are the pillar of my family. You are the pillar of this county. You are the pillar of this country. You are the pillar of our leadership. You are the pillar of my business. You are the pillar of my business. When others are going on call to look for other power, my power is in the Lord. Oh, the power that works in me is greater than the power that is in the world. Somebody declare Celebrate this, Jesus. Celebrate this. I can't hear you celebrating the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. If that is your testimony, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. You got to give him a celebration that you mean. 
Bwana asifiwe. Tumpe sifa ambayo tunamaanisha. Bwana asifiwe. Kama unajua yeye ni nguzo ya biashara yako, kama unajua yeye ni nguzo ya maisha yako, nguzo ya familia yako, ya kwamba watoto wako wamejengwa juu ya nguzo ya Yesu, inua mikono yako na umpe sifa. Thibitisha katika imani. Thibitisha, thibitisha ya kwamba wewe Yesu, wewe Yesu ni nguzo, wewe Yesu ni msingi, wewe Yesu ni furaha ya maisha yangu. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Tunapoenda kumpa nyimbo za sifa kikundi kikituongoza katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Inua mikono yako juu ya kichwa chako na mshangilie Yesu. Nasema mshangilie Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to praise God. Amen. 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 Haya put your hands together. Put your hands together. Eh tunamshangilia Yesu.
Mapenda, Asante Sana Baba, Mokosi Wangu.
mcheze bwana kama ishara amekukomboa kama ishara amekutetea sioni watu wakisonga songa kwa sababu ya vile bwana ametutenea shenda gedegede gedebo sanana eretele gedebo sanana mashede bala bana
na mikono yetu bwana tuasema kweli wewe ni mwema umetetea maisha yetu bwana tukisimama hapa sisi ni ishara ya uaminifu wako bwana hatutafuti miujiza mali pengine sisi ni miujiza baba familia zetu ni miujiza watoto wetu ni miujiza yawe na hivyo twakupa sifa na shukrani mwinulia mikono yako mpe bwana sifa na shukrani pigia bwana makofi ya shukrani kwa vile amekuwa mwema katika maisha yako mpe bwana sifa shada gade heseta rekede begede bosa tana shada we bless your name jesus we give you glory and we honor you because you are wonderful in jesus mighty name amen in jesus mighty name and all people declared Amen. And all God's people declared, Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's been good to us. Mwana sifiwe sana. Mwana sifiwe sana. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wangapi wametetewa na Bwana asubuhi ya leo unasema nimetetewa. Sio wewe peke yako umetetewa hata mimi nimetetewa. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Biblia inasema give give, up, give yourself give your bodies as a living sacrifice somebody say sacrifice, sacrifice. mtu aseme dhabihu bwana asifiwe na ni muhimu tujitoe katika ibada bwana asifiwe and i want us to give him a shout offering with our hands our feet and everything the lord gave you bwana asifiwe watu wa dunia wanasemanga ati tingisa kile mama alikopea lakini sisi tunasema tunainua sauti zetu mikono yetu tunamuinulia yule alitupea ambaye ni Mungu wa hai aliye hai bwana asifiwe ni Mungu amekupea uzima na uhai mpendo usitafute muujiza mwingine anza na huu muujiza ya kwamba unasimama leo bwana asifiwe kumbuka kuna watu walikuwa wameka statistics wakasema ya kwamba hautaishi katika zile ambazo walikuwa wamesema kwa ugonjwa walikuwa wamesema hatu taishi lakini ashukuriwe bwana ambaye ametutetea ametetea nchi ya Kenya katika jina la Yesu hata viongozi wetu walikuwa wamekosa amani wakaona ni kana kwamba ile statistics itafanya kazi kwetu wakaenda wakachimba makaburi lakini bwana akasema sio watu wangu sio watu wangu biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Deuteronomy inasema ya kwamba he chose you for himself alikuchagua kwa sababu yake mwenyewe na sio mtu anaweza kukutoa duniani ni yeye bwana asifiwe Kristo katika jina la Yesu Kristo bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo tunaenda kumpa sifa mtu ainue mikono aseme nampa sifa are you ready to give him a shout offering this morning he chose you for himself somebody say he chose me for himself come on lift your hands and say he chose me for himself Yes in the name of Jesus not because of this world but for himself. So I'm going to count 1 2 3 you give him a shout of offering like never before because even the breath that you live you breathe today is new breath. Bwana asifiwe ni oxygen mpya ambayo Bwana amekupa. Amen. 1 2 3 give him a shout. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, worship team. You may have your seats also as you arrange the mics for the children in the name of Jesus. We now want to welcome our dear children in the name of Jesus. Let's put our hands together without much ado and welcome our dear children. Wale ambao wanatutazama katika Facebook, tunawakaribisha katika ibada yetu. Tuzidi kuabudu pamoja na kumpa Mungu sifa wanaokuja kwa madhabahu ni watoto wetu the fruit of our womb is blessed in the name of Jesus they will never know another god in Jesus mighty name they will never know another i can't hear the parents affirming me they will never know another god in Jesus name hallelujah so let's welcome the, the, them to minister and after they minister i will call upon minister Amos to come and pray for them in Jesus name
That was very nice. May the Lord bless you. I want to pray for you together with the rest of the kids. That was really good. It was very good. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Wale wengine wakuja tuwaombe kwa jina la Yesu. Tuwapigieni makofi wakikuja hawa toto tunawapenda sana kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Kwa jina la Yesu. Please, arakisha, arakisha tafadhali, arakisha alpha, arafiki yako mfike kwa jina la Yesu. Let's stretch our, our hands towards these dear ones as we pray together in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that children are heritage of the Lord and the fruit of our womb is a reward. I want to pray in the mighty name of Jesus that these children shall indeed be an heritage of the Lord to bring joy and happiness in the families in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we want to dedicate their lives unto your able hands that you may lead them in everything that they do. Put a distinction in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you bring a distinction even in their schools. Let them be the head and never the tail in the name of Jesus Christ. Quicken their lives. Quicken their understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless them. We speak Abrahamic blessings upon them in the name of Jesus. They shall win every battle of this life. They shall go through teenage su successfully. They shall be young adults successively. They shall grow old successfully excessively and none of them that ministers on this altar shall go wayward in the name of Jesus. We put an embargo that these kids shall never go to the other side in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless them. We speak that they are blessed in every aspect in Jesus mighty name and all of us agree together and say an amen. Amen. We love you kids so much. The Lord bless you. Teacher, uh, teacher Faith and teacher Anne, together with Mama Anastasia, are going to teach you today. So when the Sunday school now barikiwe sana kwa jina la Yesu. Mumesimama kuna kitu ingine? Hakuna muenda vizuri mchukwe sadaka kwa azazi. And may the Lord bless you. Tuwapigieni makofi mazuri tena. Yes, they are the best for all time. In Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. Then at this time, I want to welcome again the worship team to minister with a song. They are going to mince the song, and after that we shall get to hear the word of God. So welcome so much, worship team, and the Lord shall bless us. Karibuni.
Just lift your hands and then prepare your spirit. Ukianza kumwangelesha Mungu, muambie siku ya leo kama neno linapokuwa likinitembelea. Let that message be for me in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you may shift my faith, shift my faith that I may be quick to understand the scriptures in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, continue talking to God. Lift your voices in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. In the moment that you send forth your word, it comes to deliver. It comes to shift men to realms. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare there is an uplifting in the life of every saint today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, pray, 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 pray. When you set forth your apostolic visitation, there is always a reason. I am not going to be ignorant. I position my spirit to receive that which comes from the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord. In poster, come on, pray, 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 pray. In so pakuste le magagado, as the man prays, then the spirit is lightened to receive. In so pakusta pelabo, in so pakata la magagada, in toro go da 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 da, in she de 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 de, in pato prego sapate, jando pakusta kato. The atmosphere is clear. Nothing shall stand as a stumbling block for me to receive of the Lord. Epa supeko jalego stepanede de intokorama da 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 da. 
jina la Yesu Kristo twalibariki jina lako asubuhi hii tukisadiki na kusema kwamba wewe ni Mungu wewe Mungu wa pekee 
usie shindwa umetukusanya kama kondoo wazizi lako umekutusanya mahali hapa bwana kuwa makusudi nasi tumekuja kwa mioyo ya ibada tumekuja tukuinulia ibada tukisema wewe ndiwe Mungu unaye tukomboa na kutunusuru katika mitego ya maadui wewe ndiwe unaye tuponya wewe ndiwe uliye tuokoa na hivi tuna kila sababu asubuhi hii kusema pokea sifa zetu pokea tena na ibada yetu pokea tena na Bwana sauti zetu tunajiunga na wote walio mbinguni wanao kusujudu makerufi na maserafi na wazee ishirini na wane tukisema pokea sifa pokea tena na utukufu na tunapokuabudu hivi tunauliza nguvu zako zikajae kwa hanga hii kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunatangaza hakuna uweza mwingine uweza wa mapepo na wachawi na shetani hauna nafasi kwa hewa hii hauna nafasi kwa eneo hili hauna nafasi kwa hanga hii hauna nafasi kwa maisha ya watu wa Mungu walioingia hapa wamesetwa walioingia hapa wamefungwa walioingia hapa wamezuiliwa tunatangaza ukombozi kwa nguvu na upako wa Roho Mtakatifu fungua hanga fungua mbingu ni nina uweza na baraka zako juu ya watu wako nena nasi mchana wa leo twakupa ibada yetu na ni kwa jina la Yesu Kristo na sote twakubaliana pamoja na kusema amina weka mikono yako pamoja mpe Yesu makofi mpe Yesu makofi unapopiga makofi sio kitu cha kindini ndini ni silaha ni silaha haleluya Glory be to Jesus. I want to request us as we stand for the reading of the word of God that we go together to the epistle to the Romans. Thank you so much worship team. God bless you. The epistle to the Romans, the ninth chapter. I want to take what I began on Sunday slightly deeper and I believe that God will bless us. Amen. For what I began on Sunday. Now I want to believe God for a moment in the few minutes we have just to take it slightly deeper and I believe that that might be the closure of that series as we begin another series on transformation from coming Sunday. What is this thing called salvation? When salvation happens exactly what what is the effect what that effect is it tangible it is and i will show you that it is hallelujah not only in your life but it can be so tangible even to your generation glory to god i said glory to god we want to welcome you that is watching us live we want to thank god that you take you took your time and you are watching i assure you that you will be blessed because God is here and God wants to do something special even in your life. Romans chapter 9 and we read from verse number 1. I will believe God for the strength. The Bible says I tell the truth in Christ. I am not lying. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit. Can we read the word of the Lord loud? that i have great sorrow and continual grief in my heart verse 3 for i could wish that i myself were a cast from christ for my brethren my countrymen according to the flesh verse number 4 the bible says who are the israelites to whom pertain the adoption and that is where i'll be preaching today to whom if you can if you're asking what is my topic today you can write that to whom pertain the adoption that's my topic the glory the covenants the giving of the law the service of god and the promises on the interest of time 
Okay, for the sake of context, let's go together to verse number 20, uh, 23, or rather 21. The Bible says, Does not the potter have power over the clay from the same lamp to whom to make one vessel for honor and another for dishonor? Verse number 22. What if God, wanting to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessel of wrath prepared for destruction? Verse 23. The Bible says, And what he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had prepared beforehand for glory. Verse 24, the Bible says, even us, now that is, even us, please circle that, even us, even us, whom he called, number one, whom he called, not of the Jews, but also of the Gentiles. Verse 25, the Bible says, and he says also in Osea, I'll call them my people. It is God himself promising that he will call us his people. Who were not my people and our beloved who was not beloved. Verse 26, the Bible says, and it shall come to pass in the place where it was said to them, you are not my people. There they shall be called sons of the living God. That is in the new Jerusalem. May the Lord bless his word. You may have your seats in the presence of God. I feel in my spirit to announce this, that if you are here and you are sick in your body, God is going to touch you and heal you. Even you that is watching us. God is going to touch you and heal you. So raise your expectation. As I preach the word, you're going to receive your healing. Just get ready. Stay ready. Amen. Glory to God. For those who are not with us, I began by saying that the letter to the Romans is Paul's greatest work. And if you've never read through this letter, it is important that you find time and read through. And after that, go to the book of, go and read the letter to the Galatians. The language, the manner of writing is more or less the same. And he is dealing with the same aspects in the life of a child of God. The reason that this letter to the Romans is placed first among the epistles of Paul is because he is bringing the gospel into the level of contextualization. Paul is shifting, he is bringing with him a shifting of what the gospel were reporting to us into an actual place, into a place of application. Say amen. amen. The gospel in, in from from the book from the gospels, the four uh, the, synop, the synoptic gospels. That is the four gospels. That's Matthew, that's Mark and Luke and John. They report about the life of Christ, his life. That is what we call the gospel. What is the gospel? The gospel is the bath. What is it? Please, I know it sounds basic, but just repeat with me. What is the gospel? It is the birth, the life, and the ministry. The life and the ministry is the same thing. And the death, then the ascension, and that Christ is coming again. Those five things comprise of what the gospel is. If you hear any message being preached to you, and it does not tell you that Jesus died for you and that he rose again and conquered the power of death and giving us eternal life and that he is coming for us again. That is not the gospel. But if, if any preaching tells you that Jesus is the son of God 
who came as an incarnate God, lived here, died, rose and conquered death, and that he did not only conquer death, we have hope in him that he is coming for us, then you should shout a big amen. In such a preaching, be shouting amen throughout. Glory to God. And Paul is contextualizing that to, in the life of a believer. He is trying to shift the gospel from a story, from a reported message to an actual, to a life that can be lived. Are we together? Somebody say the gospel is not a reported story. It is a life we live in. So Christ came. He lived here and did ministry. He died. Conquered death. Rose on the third day. And Christ is coming again for us. And now we that live in this world. We live the life of Christ. We are resurrected with Christ. Can you say that? I am resurrected with Christ. And I'm seated together with him in heavenly places. Glory to Jesus. Can I say it again? That Jesus lives in me. Can you say it to yourself? Jesus lives in me. The son of God lives in me. The life of God is in me. Glory to God. And that I am a reflection of the resurrected Christ. Glory to Jesus. Paul contextualizes the gospel in the letter to the Romans. And in verse 16 of chapter 1, he says that I am not ashamed of the gospel. We know we quote it. What is he trying to say? He is trying to say that I am living the life of God. Christ is not a story. Christ is a life in me. And I'm not ashamed to say that Christ is a life in me and working through me. I'm not ashamed of that. And what is, he says what? For it is the power of God. The gospel is the power of God to salvation. For everyone who believes. For the Jew first and also for the Greek. Glory to God. I say glory to God. As he writes to the Romans. Paul begins to show these people. That we are living in a pagan society that did not worship God. For your information, this is the first letter to a people that were not Jews. Are we together? So it is very contextual to us. Amen. He says to them, he says, he begins to, re to show them the significance of the death and the sacrificial death and the resurrection of Christ. Glory to God. In his writing... In his manner of writing, he uses a format of question and answer. Why? Because he wants to involve us. Are we together? He wants you to ask yourselves. He wants to, he wants you to, he wants to, he is like he is listening to you, asking yourself some questions. That how can a man like me, living, born in a wicked society, in a wicked background of polygamous background or witchcraft background be saved and live the life of God. How is it possible? And he tells them that within me I find war. I find war. I, the things I desire to do, I do not do. But then he realizes that there is war within my members. But you can, you can overcome that war if you allow the grace of God and the spirit of God to begin to function in your life. Amen. Glory to God. There is war. Tell your neighbor, you are not the first one to have struggles. Don't tell it out to us, you know. Don't tell, say it like it's anything special. Paul says, within me I find war. 
and, and the things I desire to do, that I do not do. But those things I don't want to do, I do. He goes further and he says, brethren, how shall we then live? Shall we live in sin for grace to abound? And what is he trying to say? He is trying to provoke us that we should be able to stand for the truth irrespective of the cost. Hello, somebody shout hallelujah. We should be able to do what? To stand for the truth. He says, shall we live in sin for grace to abound? He says, no, 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 no. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Now, 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 let's, let's get to chapter 9 and see his writing. And he says in chapter 9, verse 1, I don't have time. I begin to do exegesis there. Uh, he says, the truth that I tell you the truth in Christ. I am not lying, and my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit. Why? These people were not aware of who they are in Christ, and they had struggles. They had begin. They had begun to adopt, adopt pagan styles in their new life. And Paul is telling them, "I have to tell you the truth. <laughs> I have to do what? Tell you." The truth. Once adopted, you don't need to adopt anything else to fit. Somebody say, I'm adopted, but not allowed to adopt wickedness. I can only adopt truth. And the truth lives in me because it is Christ. Are we together? Verse 2, he says, in verse 2, that I have great sorrow. Why is he sorrowful? Because they are mixing themselves up and living confused, hence not reflecting the desired goal of Christ. He says, I have great sorrow and continue grieving in my heart. And verse 3 says to them, for I could wish that I myself were a cast for, for, from Christ for my brethren, my countrymen, according to the flesh. Ah, that is a lot of jargon. He's trying to tell them, I that is writing to you, I am a gen I am a, I, I have Roman citizenship and I have Jewish birthright. Are we together? He bared how many identities at the same time? That is why he confused Agrippa. You know, you need to understand what is he saying? I am a Jew by birth but I have citizenship of the Roman. Are we together? We are born of God, but live in a pagan world, in a fallen world. It is possible to reflect both lives and nobody can do nothing. It is of, it's possible to bring our identity of Christ in this world. It's possible. And nobody, when he was being accused according to the Roman law, he questioned Agrippa. He said, the law does not allow you to do some of these things you're trying to do. So you need to understand yourself in Christ so that nobody can bind or subdue you in any manner, abusing anything. You know, there are some things that are encrypted in Christianity. I don't agree with them. Mungu said, idea. No. Now let's go to our story. Verse 4. Let me not stay there. That's another message. Who are the Israelites? To whom pertain the adoption? Somebody say, to whom pertain the adoption? That is who we are. We have been adopted. And allow me to dig, to dig deep on this and stay there. The word adoption that Paul is using there, please give it to us in another version. Especially, can I read it in Swahili? This place is so hot for me. <laughs> Amen. Put on the fans, please. What does he say? Ambao ni wa Israeli, wenye kule kufanywa wana. Inuwa mkono sema ni mefanywa mwana. He kufanywa mwana ndiyo Paulo anatumia neno la adoption. Kufanywa mwana inamaanisha au kuzaliwa mwana. 
lakini kupitia kwa kazi ya Kristo nimefanyika mwana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Si kuzaliwa mwana. Itikadi za kwetu na mambo niliyopitia na kulewa nayo hayakuniruhusu kuwa mwana, lakini Kristo alipozalika ndani yangu nikafanyika Bwana asifiwe sana. Na ukielewa hiyo hakuna chochote kitalete mchanganyiko katika kujitambulisha kwako. Tuko pamoja. Kanisa la leo limechanganyika ni kwa maana atujielewi kwamba sisi ni wana. Na kuna vitu vilivyo vyetu kama wana. Give it to me in the message version or amplify. Then I will sing on that. Now, for they are Israelites and to them belongs adoption as a nation and the glorious presence of God. Now, write this down. The word adoption translated from the Greek word authosia, authosia. That is H U please if you're typing you can help on the screens. H U I O T H E S I A. Authosia. Yeah? Meaning to do what? Did you get the spellings right? H U I O please it's very important you get it because I'm going somewhere with that. H I'm not trying to teach Greek here. H U I O T H E S I A. Meaning what? To bless. It is to be blessed. Where sons are blessed as sons. Do you know what that means? You have been picked and blessed where Christ. The Bible says, for God so, John chapter uh, 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 3 verse 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten. Now, God had one son, but he sacrificed that son that to, through his sacrificial death, we could be adopted. Amen. 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 We could be done what? Adopted. Adopted in the sense that now he does not have one son. Through the death of Christ, we are many sons. So the privileges of Christ are our privileges. Somebody say, I'm blessed together with Christ. My God, I feel like you're being bound by something as you say. Say, nimewekwa pamoja na Christo. Iyo nimefanyika mwana. Bwana suwe It is, it is not, it is, I know when I say that, I, you know what adoption means here in Kenya according to our constitution. But that is not what I'm talking about here. I'm going to show you. In the Hebrew, let's go to the book of Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12 to 14. In the Hebrew culture, a son was born, but was not recognized as a son until at a certain age of maturity. I would demystify that. Solid, let me hear what the NLT says. Solid food is for those who are mature, who through training have the skill to recognize the difference between right and wrong. Amplify it, please. What does it say? I know it doesn't sound like uh, I'm prophesying, you should be on top of your chairs. But if you get this right, you don't even need somebody to prophesy to you. You prophesy to yourself. Let's read. But solid food is for full grown men. It is for who? Full grown men. For those whose senses and mental faculties are, try, are trained by practice to discriminate and distinguish between what is morally good and noble and what is evil and contrary either to divine or human law. All right, pastor, 
demystify this further. Let's go to Galatians chapter 4 verse 1. And let me tell you the truth. If you get this right, you will never queue in nobody's office to interpret a dream for you. I'm telling you. You will never queue for some miracle training session. You will be a walking miracle yourself. Let's read. Now, what I mean is that as long as the, as the interior hair, in here, inheritor, sorry, hair is a child and underage, he does not differ born in the house. But as long as you are not mature, you are a baby. Wewe na walio nunuliwa kufanyanga kas muko sambuli moja. He does not differ. Please stay there. That's one. He does not differ from a slave. Though he is the master. Kulingana na kuzaliwa urithi wote na mali liyo hapo nyumbani ni yake. Lakini kwa sababu ya kitu kimoja kinaitwa utoto u baby. So angalia jirani mwambie utoto. Eh? Ana haki ya kujichukulia urithi wake. Twende verse 2. Eh? Please give it to me in the amplified please. But he is under what? And for tra all trustees until the date fixed by his father. Now that is what I want to talk about. The date fixed by his father. That is what I'm trying to demystify here. Verse 3 says what? So we Jewish Christians, also we were under, when we were minors, we are kept like slaves under the rulers of the Hebrew ritual and subject to, to the elementary teachings of a system of external observations and regulations. Now, now let me get down here. To be adopted means to be placed as a son. Now write this down. When a young man is full grown, full of age in the Bible, things that belong to the father are handed over to him when he is fully grown. This is a special day in the Jewish culture. You are born in the house. Listen, give me your attention a bit. Umezaliwa kwa nyumba. Umefanya nini? Umezaliwa kwa nyumba. Lakini baba anakuacha kwanza ukumachue, ukomae. Na siku hile anaangalia, ni yeye baba. Anaangalia, aone huyu mwana, amekomaa. Akiona, na kuna kile kinamfanya, aone, nda kufundisha. Akiona, anaita marafiki wake. Anaita majirani. Na anaweka karamu. Kwamba leo ndiyo ile siku. Ninataka ni umu. Ni, ninataka kuwa. I want to introduce to you. One that is now a son. John chapter 1 verse 12. What does it say? What does it say? But to as many as received him. Please, read with me. But to as many as did receive and welcome him, he gave the authority, power, privilege, right to become the children of God. That is, to those who believe in appearance to trust in and rely on his name. Now, the day you got saved, you came as a child. But it is illegal. 20 years later, you are a baby. Unazaliwa kuwa mtoto. 
lakini ni kinyume kukaa mtoto ni lazima ufikie mahali ukomayo ni unapokomaa unafanyika unafanywa una, una introduceiwa kama mwana there is a day of introduction shida ile iko nasi kanisani ni kuzaliwa tulizaliwa lakini hatujafikia mahali pa ukomavu ambapo tunaweza anza kuishi katika urithi Look at your neighbor and ask them kinaelewa ka kweli Everything write this down Everything changes for the son on the day of his adoption ceremony. Born, but there is an adoption ceremony. It was done in the Jewish culture. Glory to God. What does this introduction ceremony signify? Uh, it signifies that the father has seen that the son is now mature. He is ready to take responsibilities. Write this down. There are three words used for a son in the Greek. Number one, it is teconia. It means a baby infant. Baby what? Nataka ujisaishie leo. A baby, infant, born the day of your birth. Teconia refers to a son who is maturing but not yet ready for responsibility. That means in the process of teconia, you go through the way an adolescence goes through. Then from there, you come to another stage. You become a who was, refers to one ready for responsibility. And now when you are ready for responsibility, you have to go through the adoption ceremony a son, one placed as a son for adoption. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Jesus Christ, our Savior, had to go through this ceremony. In the book of Luke, chapter 3, Begin from verse 13. Luke 3, 13. You got it? I'm going somewhere with this. What does it say? Let's go to verse 15. What does it say, 15? As the people were in what? And waiting expectantly. And everybody reasoned and questioned in their hearts concerning John. Whether he perhaps might be the Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one. Verse 16. John answered them by all saying, I baptize you with water. Now, go back to 15. Christ has been born and he is around. Are we together? Christ is where? But people are still wondering, is the Messiah around? Why? Because he had not yet come to the place of introduction. So, as long as you've not been introduced, sometimes you can be confused. People are wondering, could this John be the Messiah? A time has come that we need to take away confusion about the church. Verse 16. 
John answered them saying, I baptize you with water, but he who is mightier than I is coming. Whose straps or sandals I am not fit to untie, to unfasten. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Verse 17. His winnowing shovel focus in blah, blah, blah. Go down to verse number 21. Mm -hmm. What does it say? Now, when all people were baptized, and when Jesus also had been baptized, and while he was full, still praying, the visible heaven, ni ceremony mepangwa. Mwana atambulishwe. Na Biblia nasema nini? Bingu ikafunguka. Na tabiri. Wakati wa kanisa kuchanganyika. Kutoeleweka kanisa ndiye nani? Umeisha. Tuta. Ume, tumepikia, tumefikia kipindi. Lazima sasa mbingu ifunguke. Watu waangalie. Waseme akika. Hawa ndiyo wana wa mungu. Na wasipojua wataambiwa. Watasikia sauti. Wataona matendo. Now verse 22. What does it say? And the Holy Spirit. Now. Descended. Upon him. In bodily form. Like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. Let me say something here. And I want to address also the men. Let me ask you a question. The men who are here. How many of you, when you were growing up and when you became of age, your father called you and said, my son, I love you. You are my son. If you have ever been done that, when he appeared, some of you disappeared. That is the challenge that we've grown through. It is important to your father to introduce you and to declare these words. One of the things as a father you should do is to affirm your son. Nasio kimoyo moyo. Angalia mwanaume ako karibu na yeye don't affirm kimoyo moyo. Lakini hiyo unastahili uifanye wakati fulani anapoanza kudhihirisha ukomavu that my son you are my son i love you the bible says the heavens open and a voice was heard. What was this voice trying to do? Was introducing Christ to them. Telling them, this is my son, my beloved, in whom I'm well pleased and find delight. Can I show you something? Immediately after that, Jesus, the next thing that happens to him is he took a prayer and fasting for 40 days. That is not for babies. Can I come again? One of the signs after introduction, one of the things he took upon himself, he went into the wilderness for prayer and fasting. I am a son. I'm not, you know, babies work scared. Yeah. E, e, e. Mutoto akipopewa chakula anaona chakula ni kama imeisha duniani watakufa Lakini mwana anajua chakula yeziisha Lakini nataka kipindi na baba Kwa hivyo mwana afundishwe maombi mwana anajua umaana anajua maana ya kukaa na baba Mashada. Mwana akaribishi morning glory sana. Yeye mwenyewe. 
kwa maana katika kukaa na baba anajifundisha mambo ya baba anaanza kuiga baba anaanza kutembea kama baba anaanza kuongea kama baba lakini lazima utenge wakati ukae na baba na hiyo ufundishwi ni mwana amekoma anaamuka usiku peke yake angalia ni wangapi wameamuka hapana wale wanakuja kanisa waangalie ni wangapi wamekuja tuendelee pamoja huyo ni utoto wewe ni nini unamuuliza unaweza kia mtu anakuja anaulizwa na watu huko kuna watu Asema wako wameenda na wewe wewe hapo ni nini Alipokoma na akatambulishwa kitu cha kwanza alichukua ni responsibility Haleluya alichukua nini responsibility sons are reflected by responsibility Number two, after 40 days of prayer and fasting in the wilderness, he met with the devil to check his identity. Wana wakipitia majaribu, they don't curse God. Na nilazima majaribu yaje kulingana na jekobo moja. Ni wana peke yao. Angalia jirani mwambie ni mwana peke yake atahesabu furaha akipitia Anayepitia kwa majaribu anaacha wokovu ni mtoto Sio mimi nimesema imesemwa kutoka upande huu Situongee kanisa mahali the Christian dome that Heavens is expecting us to reflect in this latter days is not a Christian dome of babies. You can write that and update it as your status. Did you hear what I said? The Christian dome that is expected of the believer in the last in this 21st century in this latter days is not a Christian dome of babies. It's a Christian dom of the mature. Do you know what the mature do? They do what Philip did. He went to Samaria alone. Alone. You don't need a group of intercessors for that company. If you are a mature son, you will turn tables down in that city. He entered Samaria preached the gospel, presented Christ, a witch, the Bible says, a witch, a sorcerer, arose to withstand him. That is the word, the new, the, the new King James Version uses the word, a sorcerer arose to withstand him. When sons arise, the sons of the devil also arise, but we know who will carry the day. Where we are in today, it is a season where the devil is, is raising his own sons and his own priesthood and God is counting on us to arise as his sons and show the devil we know who we are and we know what the Father has given us. It is priesthood versus priesthood. It is sons versus usitishwe na mchawi ama muganga ama kamutu kamejipaka vitu amekula viapo kwa ulimwengu wangiza huu umekula za nuru na wanapotokea uwajulishe hata mimi ni mwana katika ufalme mwingine ufalme biblia nasema Simon akapambana na ule mchawi akaokoka akaokoka mchawi 
akaokoka alipookoka kukatumwa reinforcement ah. reinforcement ilipika ya John na Peter walipofika waka demonstrate kingdom resources Cameraman, you better get yourself ready to move with me because this place I can't fit. Huh? How are we together? What were they doing? Demonstrated kingdom resources, which is what? Power. Kingdom what? Siusema na kizungu hata kama ilikataa kule shule hapa itaendelea. Sema kingdom resources. Jamaa kaingia kiwa I voltage Peter. Mukanga aliyombewa toba jana akaona mieleka akachukua wallet Akasema hii hata kama nitanunua Pita Biblia inasema akamwangalia kwa macho akamwambia potea 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 Shida ile iko kwa hiki kizazi chetu na Ukristo wa sasa ni tumetanguliza Yeah. Alikuwa na moni na aliokoka jana inakuambia bado ni mtoto. Kuna watu wanafanya miujiza leo makanisani wakitumia pesa wamenunua nguvu hizi zetu sio za kununua hizi tumepewa kwa maana sisi ni wana ndio tudhihirishe ufalme wa baba yetu akamkemea akamwambia potea na pesa zako alikuwa mwerevu alikuwa amepa, alikuwa alikuwa ame, anaona vitu kama miti Chani kuonyesha. Alikuwa amepata ufunuo kidogo. Alikuwa anaka idea. Unajua huko falme waangiza they know the power of words. Mwambie jirani nikulenga tu wanajua. Mwimbaji aliimba akasema wanajua nikulenga tu. verse 23 of chapter 8 of acts of the apostles acts of the apostles chapter 23 chapter 8 verse 23 look at this what did peter tell him for i see that you are poison now who you aliokoka jana aliokoka kwa crusade ya simon lakini angalia macho kuna dimension nyingine imekuja ikascan imekuja na mri ya kiroho ikascan moyo wake akaambiwa i see i see you are poisoned by bitterness and bound by iniquity lift up both of your hands and say if there be any iniquity of anything that has hold me back let it be broken akasema for i see you are poisoned by bitterness and bound by iniquity hapo jua alikuwa ameambiwa aje verse 22 repent therefore of this your wickedness and pray perhaps thoughts of your heart may be forgiven verse 21 says what you have neither part nor portion in this matter for your heart is not right in the sight of god can i shock you who you ni mtu aliokoka jana anayeambiwa haya maneno then kwa sababu katika ulimwengu hata wangiza wanajua depth ya maneno angalia huyu mtu verse 24 vile alifanya haraka akamwambia niombe but hiyo maneno umesema alijua akamwambia anajua kule tunatumianga maneno na hapa maneno imeachiliwa akasema niombe then simon answered and said pray to the lord for me that none of these things which you have spoken 
the time, the season we are in is the sons of God. Pastors, not babies. Pwana na ombea wa watoto wako. Maombi ina yu apana. Ni watoto tu wanasemanga amen. Lakini, pwana na ombea wana wako. Wambia jirani badilisha formula ya maombi. Na ombea hawa wana wako. God. God. Now, write this down. Time is out. Can I shock you? Can I shock you? Can I just say something and then we close? Do you know? You can be a baby. Manifesting gifts. Because gifts come upon you when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And once you are born again, you are, you are eligible for the Holy Ghost. Hence, you can manifest. But there is a level of going beyond gifts to fruits. Which is one Patience. Gift. Rama kado paleke saka. That's a gift. Eh? Speaking in tongues is a gift. The greatest confusion in the 21st century Pentecostal church is that we have confused gifts for fruits. It is only mature sons that transit from gifts to revealing fruit. Where as a child of God, you can tarry in the presence of God for a day. Nothing happens. You don't change your mind. Another day, nothing happens. You don't say, I, back, I, I backslide. Where? What is leading you? Friends, our motivation when you become a son your motivation is not the works of God. But it is in manifesting the nature of God. For our God is he has long, he can bear with us patience, endurance, perseverance. Elijah was a son. He sent a baby to go and check whether the prayers have brought anything. Rude. Rude. Huo ni utoto. Kukaa miaka kumi umengojea mmo kuolewa au jaona ndoa. Unasema utaenda huko duniani ulete ndoa. Bwana. Huo ni utoto. Mwana anajua kama alinipea mwana wake wa pekee. What else can he give us? Is the church maturing in this house? Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Yeah. Akarudi mara ya pili. Utoto haijamuisha. Hakuna. Yaani, you know what he was trying to tell him? Tuache imam. Akaambiwa rudi. Kaenda mara ya 4, mara ya 5, mara ya 6, mara ya 7. I can tell you his mentality changed when he saw the rain. He must have known that God is not Papa Cloud, Papa Christmas. Santa Claus. He is not. Tell your neighbor, God is not Santa Claus. We are not in church because of things. He said, seek ye fast, 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 fast. 
And in seeking, go and ask those who dig gold and minerals. Wanachimbanga migodi wanatengeneza mjia uko chini. Niku seek. Hakini anapofashika your gold. Lift up both of your hands as we pray and tell God, I transit from a baby. I'm, I want to be mature. I refuse to be confused with gifts. Talk to God. Tell the Lord. I want the maturity that I may eat the, mature, the food, the solid food. My God, I pray that you raise men that are mature. Raise daughters, women that are mature. Raise mothers. Raise young people that are mature in the things of God. My God. Mandobo Shanda da 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 ba gade ba ha, sada da 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 ba ba bu gada, raka ka 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 ka, shata tata, shete tete, makata la, zababuka, lepa katoli ya bahaya. My God, my God, come on, pray for yourself. Tell the Lord, mature me. I don't mind the process. I don't mind the process. Mature me as a son. Mature me as your son. Mature me. Mature me as a son. I refuse to stay on baby's food. I want to bear your identity. I want to bear the fruits and fruits that remain. Fruits that remain. Fruits that remain. My God. Oh. 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 Shada la 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 For yourself tell the Lord I want to mature in the things of God I want to mature I want to mature it's been a long time being a baby being a baby on spiritual matters being a baby in the kingdom matters I want maturity maturity I want to mature Katopro lo sokoba shanda da 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 ba 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 shala ba 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 aya haya haya place a demand in the realm of the spirit place a demand in the realm of the spirit place a demand in the realm of the spirit I push I break shala ba gande de des makata la ba 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 aya hada la ba. Soko poko shatalaba, roka daba. Shalaba la ba la ba la ba la ba mosh, makada ba la ba ba
such happenings because they know it is their father's pleasure to give them the kingdom as we partake of the communion today Jesus in his words in the book of Matthew 26 verse 29 he said these words Matthew 26 29 Matthew 26, 29 Jesus, the Bible says he looked at them and he said that I say to you I will not drink again of this fruit of the wine until that day when I drink it with you new of superior quality As we partake of the Lord's communion today, we are partaking of the communion with this understanding. There is a day. Somebody say there is a day. I'm going to partake of the same. I have a promise. I'm not doing it today. And you know, it is illegal that I partake of it and it fails to fulfill its assignment in me when he has given me an expectation on a particular day. So I want us to partake of the Lord's table. We are not doing it that religious style. Please, Mama. Shalabaga. again you pick it then you go wait i lead us as we finalize our service and we hope that you that is watching at home you have your elements ready as we are partaking of the communion you join us please we believe the lord please come pick and let's not flock you just pick it and as you do that as you come you come pick it pray that if this thing was said by it by the stripes of jesus i'm healed my faith will grow it has to be a reality in me just pick Let's not flock. Let's give each other time. <laughs>
Father, we are gathered again in your presence to fulfill that which you instituted. By this communion, we invoke the healing power of God. We invoke the virtues, the strength, life, strength, revival to live for you, to walk in you and with you. I pray that as we partake of this communion, you bless us. The Bible says in the same night in which he was to be betrayed, he took the bread and he broke it. And he gave thanks, Heavenly Father, we are grateful that you gave your body. That through that we've become the body of Christ. We partake of this bread invoking the power of unity, strength and peace. And that we will not be infants but mature sons. Bless us today as we partake of this. Shall we partake of the bread together? Everlasting Father, we are grateful once again that you shed your blood for us. We don't want to just talk about it. We want to have an experience of the same. As we partake of this communion, bless us. As the Bible says in the same manner, he took the cup and he said, this is my blood for the new covenant. Shall we partake of it together in that understanding? Would you lift your hand and tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for healing. Thank you for making me the body of Christ. Your dwelling place. Shift me and lift me to another dimension. In the name of Jesus. We pray. Receive your healing if you're sick in your body. If you have been going through an attack, I break it. I declare the intervention, the power of God. In Jesus' name. And if you're watching us and you're not born again, it is that special moment that you can give your life to Christ. And I want you to pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus. Even us that are here, if you're here and you're not born again, please let's pray together. Repeat this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, I thank you for your word. I believe in my heart. And I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that God raised him from the dead. From today, I declare 
that I am born again. I'm a child of God. My sins are forgiven. I'm a new creation. I live for God. If you pray that prayer, allow me to pray for you. Everlasting Father, I release your power, your presence, your anointing, your grace upon your people. Lift and shift them to another dimension. I break every force of darkness that comes to hold you back. I declare the infilling of the Spirit of God with an evidence of manifesting the working of the Holy Spirit in your life. With speaking in tongues, receive the baptism. If you're here and you have any matter, you are believing God, can we join our faith and even those that are watching, I declare the touch of God, the intervention of the grace of God, in Jesus' name, may the Lord go before you, level every mountain, lift every valley. May the Lord touch and minister unto you. You are blessed and it is well with your life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. You may descend to your seat. Even as we climax by worshiping the Lord with our substance, please come past the cup. Past the cup. We are behind schedule. We are sorry. Pass the cup very fast. Pass the cup very fast. As we prepare our offerings, those that are giving through their um, person, get your sacrifice ready. Your tithes, please. The pay bill number, the Empesa details are on the screen. Get your sacrifice ready. If you're giving through Empesa, those that are watching, go to Empesa. Once you get to the Empesa, you'll find Lipana Empesa. At Lipana Empesa, you'll find Paybill. Then business number. Our business number is 247 247. That is our business number. 247 247. After that, it will ask you for the account number. Our account number is 444 585 585. 444 585. Get your sacrifice ready. Get your sacrifice ready as we worship the Lord with that which he has blessed us with. Get your sacrifice ready. Get your sacrifice ready. And I pray in Jesus' name, as you, if you have your sacrifice ready, lift it as I pray. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord's blessing be upon you. May the Lord impact you with his favor, with his grace. May the work of your hands be blessed. And as we worship the Lord with your substance, may avenues and doors open before you. And may the Lord rebuke the devourer for you. You are blessed. You are favored. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. amen. And amen. So get your sacrifice ready. Thank you so much. God bless you as you give your sacrifice. We are done with the online. God bless you.